Hello, I am your friend Sajid and I am back. So guys, today in this video we are going to study Java classes and objects. So we have done one video before on this topic of classes and object oriented programming. Now we will uh, go a, li uh, a little bit more deeper and see what are the classes and objects and in my last video i recommended you to keep remember these two words classes and objects because these are very very important in object oriented programming so let's look at it so java is an object oriented programming language right and everything in java is associated with classes and objects along with its attributes and methods for example in real life a card is an object the card has attributes such as weight and color and methods such as drive and break so a class is an object constructor or a blueprint or a template for creating object so this kind of example we have seen in our last video so now let's look a code base example here you see we have a class and this class name is main right and also one thing keep remember that name of the class should start with one uppercase first letter so we have the class here called main with an integer uh, x is equal to 5 currently we have not defined any method in it so uh, let's look uh, create an object of the class main how we could do it so in java object is created from a class this is for sure uh, you understand that any object is creating from a class so we have already created a class named main before so now we can use this to create objects to create an object of main class specify class name followed by the object name and use the keyword new so this is very important this is another term which you should keep remember uh, to learn oop is new uh, new will be used to create new object so let's look at this example here we have a class main with an, in, an integer or uh, value x is equal to 5 this is our main method public static wide main okay and then now we are going to define an object of this class so main my object main is the name of the class my object is name of the object is equal to new main so new is the keyword to uh, create an object right so new main and then we do system dot 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 print line my object dot x it means in this object because we told you before uh, all the data and the methods in the main class are inherited by the object so my object has access to this variable x so when i say oh, my object dot x it means it's accessing value of x which is there in the main class and print it out so let's look at this example in more detail so let's suppose i have this value maybe 500 and I have defined my this method even I could change the name yeah just say object right and object and now if I run this code it's compiling and executing so wow we have the output 5 right guys I hope this concept is clear to you this my object is accessing 500 through the, the this object so anyways um, let's move forward you understand how uh, object is created from a class we have a class 
and then we instantiate one like object and then we access the parameter in that class and you and print it okay similar in uh, similarly um, there is no restriction on how many objects you can have of one class here we can see we have two objects okay so here we have two objects we are creating my object one my object two right from the same class and then we are printing my object one dot x my object two dot x you see the result is same so what's happening they are using the same value to print out if for example if i have and other value and other variable y and my second objects accesses y then what will happen definitely they should print 5 and 6 see here you can see one object is accessing uh, one data value another one in other one but these both are available to both both objects can have access to both of them okay guys well, okay so now you understand second concept which is that you can have uh, you can have multiple objects of one class okay guys by now we were focusing on one class only and creating uh, objects of itself now we talk about a little uh, about a little bit more detail uh, using multiple classes yes guys this is the real thing you can also create an object of a class right and access it in another class right I mean it's not necessary to create object of the class in which you are sitting or where the main method is you can define separate class and then access that class with an object sitting and and other class so this is often used for better organization of code in classes so one class has all the attributes and methods while the other class holds the main method code to be executed right so remember the name of the java file should match the class name in this example we have created two files in same directory or folder so one name is main.java, second class name is second.java. So in main.java, uh, we have int x is equal to 5, one integer. And in second class, we are going to have main method. Okay, guys, we will create object of the main class sitting in the second class and access the variable x from um, with the help of object and print the value okay so we, for example in the same folder we have to compile two classes and run the code second or java because second file contains the main method right so we have to run this with the command java second okay guys i hope this is informative for you you are learning things next let's uh, before we leave let's execute this file so here the value of x is main i can maybe change it to 900 just to have a little bit different result for you and then in my second class I have main i object is equal to new main system dot order print line my object dot x right and now I run the code see here it's compiling and it will run very soon <coughs> oh, 900 so how this <coughs> excuse me 900 is coming so you have second dot java it creates an object my object is equal to main my object is equal to new object okay and 
in the main class there is one variable defined x is equal to 900 and then you are accessing that variable with the help of object and printing it so guys I would highly recommend you to run these codes write these codes from scratch with your own hands and do experimentation with it and you will learn a lot of concepts and things will be more clear to you so guys I hope our today's video was informative for you and you learned something new in this so I will be leaving now and same uh, message at the end please share with your friends and colleagues this video so that others can also uh, take benefit from this series so please subscribe and share and um, like and click the bell icon as well so that you can get our new videos when we release them so i'll be back very soon take care bye bye and allah hafiz